Well, throughout the weekend, devastating videos and images poured out of Charlottesville, as you probably know by now, but it's left many wondering how to address events like these with their children. WSLS 10's Allison Wickline met with a social worker today to get some information and advice about how to keep kids informed and also protected. She joins us now live in the studio. So, Allison, what are some good ways to explain these things to kids? Well, John, every child is different and every parent is different. But the social worker I spoke with today said it's important to know how your child processes emotions. Sometimes less is more. Harrowing images from the unrest in Charlottesville last weekend are hard for most anyone to process. For many parents, this past weekend presented a problem. How can you inform your kids about a violent and deadly event and still protect them? I think where it becomes difficult is when we when we really try to expose kids to things that they're not ready to be exposed to or that they don't have a true understanding. Um, it can be frightening. Brown says with younger children, keep answers simple. Tell the truth, but leave out details that may make it harder for children to process. Keep it to, um, you know, this was a bad thing that happened and people were angry and they fought. But most of all, kids want to be assured that they're safe. With older children, Brown says open communication can be key. With social media projecting the details and images of violent events like Charlottesville unfiltered, not talking, can hurt worse than the words themselves. I think we have to remember, particularly in this day and time, that if your kids aren't getting answers from you, they're going to get them from somewhere else. Brown says TV exposure can also affect children, so it's important to keep an eye on what they're watching and hearing when events like Charlottesville erupt. In studio, Allison Wickline, WSLS 10.